Hi guys, and welcome to the Family Fudge. Today on What's Cooking Wednesday, I'm making hot corn dip. Now last week I shared the recipe to my Mississippi pork roast that I made for my daughter Lily's birthday. Now to go along with that, I also made this hot corn dip. And I have to tell you guys, that was the first thing to go. My guests loved it. So I'm gonna share it with you today. This recipe is super easy and perfect to throw together the day before your party. So stay tuned and I will show you how to make it. I'm starting with about three cups of corn kernels. Now I'm using two cans of corn today, but you also could use fresh corn or even frozen. I'm also using one four ounce can of diced green chilies, one clove of garlic, about four ounces of room temperature cream cheese, half a cup of Greek yogurt, or you could use sour cream, a half a cup of shredded pepper jack cheese, three quarters of a cup of shredded cheddar cheese, and finally about a quarter cup of green onions. In a medium sized mixing bowl, I'm going to start by adding all of my softened cream cheese. Next, I'm going to add the Greek yogurt, and a can of diced green chilies. I just love the combination of cheese and chilies. It is so good. And then I'm just going to give this a stir. And because the cream cheese is at room temperature, it blends together really easily. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and chop up my green onions. And I only need about half a cup. And I'm gonna use both the green and the white. Now I'm going to add most of my green onion to my mixing bowl, but I am gonna leave out just a bit. That way I can garnish the dip when it comes out of the oven. Next comes the garlic, and I'm just going to grate mine directly into the bowl, but you could also just mince it finely with your knife. Next, I'm going to add almost all of my shredded cheddar cheese and almost all of my shredded pepper jack cheese. I wanna make sure to save a little bit of each to sprinkle on the top of our dip. Next, I'm going to add all of my corn, which I've also drained. Now, just as a side note, you guys, if you wanted this dip to be extra spicy, you could definitely chop up a jalapeno or two and add it in at this point. But I'm just gonna use the mild green chilies because I want everybody in my party to enjoy it. And now I'm just gonna give this a stir. And if you'd like to, you could also add some salt and pepper to taste. But for me, all of that cheese in there has a lot of salt and the green chilies give it enough heat for my liking. Next, I'm going to pour this mixture into a two quart baking dish. And then I'm going to top it with the remaining cheese. Now I'm actually making this the night before my party. So I'm gonna go ahead and put some saran wrap on the top at this point and then stick it in the fridge. And I'm also gonna make sure to reserve my green onions as well. Now this dip is meant to be served hot, but it's very good at room temperature as well. So about 30 minutes before my guests arrive, I'm gonna go ahead and take this out of my fridge and get it into my oven, which I've preheated to 350 degrees for about 25 minutes or until heated through and the cheese will be nice and brown and bubbly and melted. Now I'm just gonna remove this from my oven and serve hot with tortilla chips or even vegetables to dip in here would be delicious. Okay guys, for even more recipe ideas, you can click on the link up here. And to see yesterday's video, you can click on the link down there. And if you wanna subscribe, you can hit my face right over here. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.